Welcome back. This might possibly be the most excited I've ever been for a segment. <laughs> Look, I got gloves. Indiana's only Japanese market, One World Market, is celebrating their 17th anniversary in Indianapolis tomorrow. And to celebrate, they're hosting this event where they're going to be filleting a 200-pound tuna fish. Ryan Dumoppet here joins us. Gideon and Jack Terry both here as well, which is awesome. So they're going to be helping me learn how to do this. But first, can you just talk about what people can expect tomorrow? Well, thank you for having us yeah. on, first off. Um, so what they can expect is, again, like you said, there's going to be a 200-plus pound tuna <laughs> um, whole, everything from head to tail. We break it down. And uh, our, our chef, who is from Japan, classically trained sushi chef, uh, we'll be doing the demonstration tomorrow, and he, uh, once he breaks it down, we process it, we give some samples to, to the crowd, and then uh, oh. the rest of the, the process, we actually have packaged right away so that you can actually purchase uh, parts of that tuna. And what's nice about it is there are some parts of that tuna that you don't get to see like every day or experience every day, uh, like the otoro, which is the really fatty mm. and most desired part of uh, the tuna, so mm -hmm. that'll be for sale, and there'll be some samples of that as well. Um, along with, uh, we have complimentary bubble tea. We also have uh, Kalbi Snacks, which is a very popular Japanese brand for snacks, and I have some yeah. over there. Um, and we have also uh, our friends from Mochi Joy Donuts are, are dropping by and dropping off some donuts for uh, that we'll have this for sale. This is big. As well. Yes, yes. This is good. Yeah, yeah. We now, go big at one point. You might market. have heard Daniel say earlier that he tried to do sushi at home once and it was terrible. <laughs> so I'm going to try to top him. So for people at home, as we get started, what sh what do they need to remember? So first things first, we would want to introduce all the ingredients. Okay. So we're going to be making a California roll. So the main ingredient is the sushi rice. So it's basically white rice mixed with vinegar. And also for the outside of the rice, we put some sesame seeds. And this is nori, mm -hmm. which is seaweed in Japanese. So okay. is that rice wine vinegar? Uh, yes. OK. So as for the fillings, we have kanikama, which is uh, imitation crab meat, as well as avocado. All righty. Okay. Let's, Let's do it. Started? Yeah, Let's I'll try. Started. I'll try. All right, first, grab your bamboo sheet. This is okay. called a makisu. Put your nori right at the edge like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grab a fistful of rice. Just like that? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, there's chili. <laughs> and put it right in the middle. Okay. Like a brick, like so. So I might need a little more. A little bit more. Okay. All right. And once you have this shape, uh huh. put it right to the corners. Make sure you fill oh, so all the gaps. Oh, so it has to go to, oh, yeah. so we're talking the whole thing. Right, yep, right, yep, right. yep. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. All you're right. Fine. There's a good tip at home then. To the ends. To the ends, make sure you fill all the gaps. Okay. Perfect. You can always add more rice if needed. Oh, can you? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the next step, put some sesame seeds on top. Sometimes I just make rice and put sesame seeds on top. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to eat it like that. All righty. Okay, so okay. traditionally Japanese sushi usually has the rice on the inside. But for a California roll, we put the rice on the outside. So we're going to have to flip this over. OK. Yep, perfect. All right. Perfect. Then now we can add the fillings. So grab your kanikama, here uh -huh. you go, and split it in half. Oh. It's like a string cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> and then grab your avocado. OK. Place it right there next to it. Wow. OK, so next step is actually rolling the roll. Oh. So you have it kind of on the edge like this. Okay. And then you want to bring all the ingredients in while pushing with all your four fingers like this. And then you want to leave a little gap in the nori like that. So I'm pushing this all the way down to there. Right, right. To like that. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And then you roll it out like that. So I just kind of keep yes. going. Oh, Perfect. oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <Nice. laughs> I feel so good about myself. Nice. Thank you guys. <laughs> So. You're hired. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, Look at that. Perfect. 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 Wow. Thank you. Of I'm course. very excited. Yeah. I'm sorry. So this sounds amazing tomorrow, 17th anniversary. And just remind people quickly where it's at and what time. We're at 8466 Castleton Corner Drive in Indianapolis. And uh, it's right by the Castleton Corner Square Mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's going to be starting at about 11 o'clock. I go see you guys quite a bit. Awesome. <laughs> I do. Yeah.
Thank you all so much thank for you. coming thank in. Thank you. This was a thank lot you. of fun. Might see you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the Great. One World Market celebrating 17 years tuna cutting starting at 11. You don't want to miss that. Um, we're going to put details at fox59.com slash links so you can get more info there. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right.